Good readings, boys and girls. Gonna be back with more Let's Play Breath of Fire. Yeah, I didn't screw up the intro this time. All right, last time we uh we saved the men from the fortress there. We couldn't get into the ball. So what we want to do is we want to find a way into the ball, and we heard that there is a man who lives to the east of Gant, which is where we are, and he knows how to get there. So let's get there. Just gotta come this way. Alright, just keep moving. You wanna keep going east. Past where where you enter the water there. Just go past some palm trees. The enemies around here are literally the most basic, weakest enemies possible because this is the path Gobi had to travel by himself. Come over here, we come to a little hut. Hopefully we can make it in there without ox walking like a retard. Hey, there's a guy. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah, I know that. That's kind of the idea. It's called magic. Why is he spinning in place? Tame bird. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure most birds are like that. Okay. I could use it as a weapon. Alright. Can I use this goat as a weapon? <laughs> Alright, no. Uh, now, we have to head back to the... I'll hit meet you on the north side of the fortress that we had to go through to save the people. So, I'll meet you over there. All right, we're back on the uh, northern half of the fortress here, and if you remember, there was this forest that had a bunch of giant birds in it that I told you to do nothing with. This would be the grim fowl, and you notice now there's an egg there. That, no, that guy's not there anymore. So let's uh, take this egg. Oh. oh, wait, are you mad, bro? You mad? Sorry. And we're in a boss fight with the grim fowl. Yay, bird. Uh, let's flame dragon it up. Karn has nothing better to do. Yeah, I can attack up Karn. And we are now Red Dragon. Rawr! Karn getting spit at all the time. Okay, let's just keep attack. Keep the pressure on. It's not very difficult, especially with the Shin form. You might not... I, You know, it's... You're not told about Karn's transformation yet, so really knowing ahead of time is sort of like a cheat. But, I mean, okay, well, at least his damage went up by more than five, but, you know, again, if whatever makes the game easier. I mean, you can get it. It's clear that if you didn't have the, if you, they didn't want you to get it, then they wouldn't have given you the ability to get it, so use it and abuse it. And, ha. Huh. And it got mad. Oh, crap. Here we go. Yeah, its second form is literally nothing real stronger than the first. I think it has about 800 HP in the second form. And you... How did that do damage? Just burnt out a fire dragon. <laughs> Pittance. By now you're noticing that your basic cure spells aren't enough. Heck. Hopefully this goes in first. Yes, there we go. And of course he burns out the fire dragon again, who suddenly takes a ton of damage he probably shouldn't have. Ah, fire! And we've defeated the Grimfowl for 5,000 experience. And yet no level. Now we take the egg. They gotta be a little slow here, because they are gonna follow you. You need to keep them behind you. Wait. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you know you wanna. And you throw the egg into the ball, and bad things happen. 
<laughs> They're getting chased around. This reminds me of the chicken incident. Ah, there they are. Look at you guys. Running around. You want to dip over here. Until I think I ran into a battle there, I probably shouldn't have cut out. You move that down, and there you get a life two. If you move this one down and press the button there, you get a skull ring, which I think is for Karn. Let me check. Yep. It ups his defense by 10. There we go. Hopefully that stops him getting beaten on like a girl. And we're down here. Alright, that was just some spearmen, you know, typical Empire enemies. They come down here, and we break this wall down. Oh, look, it's yet another general. Yeah, we have. Aw, you punk. Are you gonna leave your minions behind? No, the birds did that. We must punish you? What are you, Sailor Moon? And they transform? What the? Ah, you're in a fight with Slime X. Hooray. Just do our Thunder Dragon. Car and attack them. And. Are we okay, mostly? Yeah. Attack up on Karn. Ah, Thunder Dragon. And how I missed you. Ow. 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 These guys aren't hard all that much. They tend to have physical, high physical attack power. Yeah, cure two herself there. Ah, man, beating on Karn. They don't last very long. And we get rid of one. God, that he's still on the field though, huh? He's got 66 MP. Let's Kira 3 Karn. I believe Kira 3 is like... Ow. Like a Cure 4 spell in Final Fantasy 4 or anything. It's a full heal, pretty much. No, I can't have him cast it. He'd die. He possibly could die. Alright. Yeah, Cure 3. I have Ox there to keep him alive. Man, Karn takes a ton of damage. They both do. Well, there goes two. Wait, are they still on the field? This is odd. This is like the first real... Actually, since they seem to have uh, free time there, I'm going to have her pop an acorn. These are about 20 AP, which is good for curing. Pretty much her buffs are done, I'm not going to have to worry. Actually, I want to get an attack up on Ox, which is pretty much going to waste <laughs> all the a or waste all the AP that the Acorn just gave her. Oh, another di wait, what are they doing? Ah! And now we have Slime X version 2, which is just basically a bigger version of what we just uh, did there. I'm gonna have her pop another acorn. Try to keep her MP up. And you see, as you can tell, it's no real more difficult than anything else you've been facing in this battle. As it's half dead already. Yeah, dragon takes or makes short work of a lot of things. Uh, let's try to cure an ox here. Just keep his HP up. I probably should have done that on myself, huh? Okay. Nothing else much to attack to base attack and yeah. Hit me again. And no after guts meter for you. Forty five or fifty four hundred e experience points. Again, no level. Wait, what? No, not Prima. Oh, 
of course they loaded onto a ship. Why are we always a half second too late? Yes, we you have. No, stop trying to destroy Primo. Stop him. Do something. Damn it, Krillin. Do we have a Prima owned meter? Well, here comes a random maiden. Oh, it's a torp. What? Yes, let's make a secret weapon that's a completely of real limited use. Let's go see the guild owner. Oh, okay. Yes, master. Oh, she's apparently prego. Well, he's apparently pretty confident. Karn, the ever voice of reason. We're already in Prima. Wisdom sorceress. The man upstairs. You want me to ask God about information? Okay. Uh. I don't like the fact that they keep doing this to me, but... <laughs> Gotta get Gobi out of the party there. Why would you take me now? Alright, here we go. Hey buddy, we need a hand. Just walk through the bed. Yes, we're talking about the sorcerers. Did you not hear me when I said it the first time? Oh, I walk around the bed and talk to him. Okay, that helps. Where is Wisden? The statue? Look under the bed. Can I move it? Okay, stop that. Stop it. I receive a statue by looking at the pillow. Alright, well. One more thing I'm going to do in this episode. Is I'm going to go back to Nabal there, because there's a couple more things that we couldn't have gotten then, but we can now. Or actually, no, no. I don't like the fact that this is pointing out to be a different thing. So, hopefully this episode isn't that short. I mean, I know it's, again, another late-day episode, but I had to go watch the UFC pay-per-view, which was a giant pile of crap. I mean, they spent two and a half minutes... Or, I think it was closer to five minutes. I know that's kind of a time difference there, huh? But they were spent, like, five minutes talking about these two guys who were these great, you know, takedown wrestlers, and this was going to be a great fight, and the dude got, like, a left hand in, in the beginning, and the guy went down, and he was in the process of defending himself, and the ref stopped the fight, and it was over in exactly 13 seconds. The main event lasted two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. This is what we paid, like, $50 to watch. I could have, like... Ugh. Don't watch UFC, people. Watch wrestling. It's far more entertaining. But that's uh, my opinion. And that's it for this episode of Let's Play Breath of Fire. Hopefully it's not short. I will be back on Monday with more. And so until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. And uh, good night.